goalkeeper for Bayern. Zidane trying to dispossess him. In the end, it's Redondo who gets his foot in. Well, it's impossible. Redondo a clap for the victims of the Lorca earthquake in Murcia about two weeks ago. Chendo came on as just to stop Mackay. Well, Mackay. Deportivo La Coruña have been relegated during the current season in Spain, so they'll be playing in the second tier just 11 years after winning the league. Well, and how they miss someone like Mackay, by the way. He was uh, talking on Spanish radio, Mourinho, and he said, well, I'd been talking to Chendo's son. I said to him, have you ever seen your dad play football? He said, no, no, I've never seen him. Was he any good? Mourinho said, that makes him. Comes out the other side with the ball. And one of the reasons why this foot piece of footage is so famous was because commentating at the time on Spanish television was Jorge Valdano. Of course, different spells at Bayern Munich, two different spells at Borussia Dortmund, all over the place. Back with the goalkeeper. Luis Figo, of course, only finished his career two years ago with Inter Milan. He won Serie A four times after leaving the Spanish. Not so much what he did achieve, but what it felt like he was going to achieve. It's a real, really working for Zidane. And, and that natural role of his as, as either a, a, a central midfielder or just off the strikers wasn't quite happening a long time. And, and I must say, off the top of my head, I, I, I can't remember exactly how many caps he got. But, but he was in this, and as I say, he was in the in the squad for a long time but those that's a lot of pride and that's really what allowed him to take his place because then Lili and Turan was forced into the middle because it was, the, was their kind of go-to guy and they gave him the ball and he was the one trying to create for him as much as possible. Bayern player between 88 and 91 before signing for Juventus. Alguera. Putregeno, he retired too early after the 2006 World Cup. Putregeno inside the box. Amavisca played such an important role in that team that won the league in 96-97 for Real Madrid. With, with in terms of style, maybe Barcelona were more exciting. It was the year when Ronaldo, Brazilian Ronaldo, played for Barcelona and he was absolutely phenomenal, scored 34 goals. It was Victor, who hopefully we'll see in the second half because he's amongst the subs tonight. Lovely control. Yard box, Zidane. Zidane and Figo getting plenty of possession inside the first 22 minutes here at the Santiago well, Bernabeu. The, the most striking thing, really, is... is, is <laughs> Elguera. And now Dillard just leaves it for Figo. It's Thomas Helmer down there as well. They obviously need to do something. It's 2-0 to Real Madrid. Halfway through this first half, the 37-year-old. He signed from Leverkusen. Kovac and Thomas Helmer are indeed on for Willy Sagnol and Andy Bremer. Andreas Bremer. Thomas Helmer, who may... Elguera linking up well with... Brought down by Elguera. Kovacu, of course, like the Bosnian uh, parents. Played for Croatia, both of them in, in, I think, four tournaments in a row. They must have played at the World Cups in 2000. We're just queuing up Real Madrid on the edge of the box. Elguera, who can play in the middle of midfield as well as it might last a half at this rate. He'd be pretty pleased with that, I think. In, in truth, there's a player who's been obviously at Nantes, Sampdoria, Rap. But there has been talk about changing the name of the stadium at Getafe, of course, under new ownership, where a, a deal which will kick in. Zidane. Breitner is watching him. Madrid keeping possession well. Zamavisca. Space to work with. Alguera. Amavisca just stumbling inside the box. Algara goes for goal. It's Redondo who's got it for Real Madrid. And the Whites take control on the edge of half time. 3 0 the scoreline now at the Santiago Bernabeu. Nicely taken. Not a man who gets a lot of goals, Jorge. Um, Jorge? Fernando Redondo said Jorge because, of course, he was signed by Jorge Valano for Real Madrid. He only scored five times in 225 games for Real Madrid, but he's got another one here. Had real injury problems when he departed and, and went to Milan and, and, and really struggled because of that, Fernando Redondo. But just a completely class act as a player. So much. Best to describe him. He was like kind of the heartbeat of the, of the Castilla team. The Cast there goes Fernando Redondo smooth and cool as ever the the he was the heartbeat of the Castilla team and for those who don't know Castilla is Real Madrid's second